Hello there, internet. Yellow Shirt Man coming at you with another bizarre intro and a Legends of Runeterra video for you guys today. As today we're taking a trip to the past as we are going to showcase the mummy, aka Thresh Nasus, because Thresh Nasus is actually edgy now. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think about, right? Because this deck was the face of the meta for so long. But now that Bandle City was released, I believe the combination of obviously the nerfs that happened over time and also the introduction of Mini Morph and also Aloof Travelers can hit this deck pretty rough. But I still believe Thresh Nasus is very overrated because there's a lot of things that Thresh Nasus does. Did I say overrated or underrated? I, hopefully I said underrated. Because <laughs> Thresh Nasus has a lot of tools, especially in the early game, that can deal with the swarmy tactics from a lot of Bandle City decks running around right now. We have access to the Blighted Caretaker. I never really believed that the nerf to Blighted Caretaker warranted her to be kicked out of the deck, more so than just Merciless Hunter being printed shortly after that and be just ridiculously powerful for a three drop, right? But in this particular meta, I actually believe Blighted Caretaker is ultimately better as a 3-drop, especially because of the nerf and Mercer Center being more, you know, fair now. But what's important is that we synergize, like, she contributes to our synergy by slaying a unit, right? Uh, can also potentially help us get a very quick level up with Thresh, amongst other things. But the important thing is spawning two saplings that can deal with the mayor and another uh, low curve, like Bando Commando, for example, amongst many other things. There's a lot of things that we can remove, and for just a three mana play, getting rid of two of them is actually really powerful. And I think this deck's early to mid game is very, very neat. And I also feel like Thresh is really good in this environment as well, because Thresh feels kind of bad to mini more, for example, because you are winning in that tempo exchange and you can still get value out of Thresh before he goes down anyways, making use of his high health stat and removing a lot of the small units. Thresh has the ability to trade into even stuff like pre-boosted Poppy, Lulu, uh, the mayor, etc., etc., and also non Bandle City decks as well. We can eat up Dravens, and it's just a really good thing to have a five mana three six. Like that's that that's that line with the challenger keyword works phenomenal. It's like a beefed up Lauren Protege in a way, right? With a win condition. If it sticks on the board for too long, then we get the doggo out, and when the doggo is out, we don't know who let them out, but. He's there to just take the game for us. That was really lame. I apologize. <laughs> that was terrible. Regardless, uh, we're, we're playing a couple of copies of Atrocity as our win condition. Uh, the win condition or the game plan with this deck is the same as it's always been. We get out Nasus, big and thick. We strike with him once so that he levels up, gets the fearsome and the spell shield. Very, very, muy importante as then we can use Atrocity on it and not have to worry about Minimorph, for example, because once we get the Spell Shield, we uh, dodge that bullet. So uh, I mentioned Minimorph a lot because it's pretty prevalent, but a lot of times you're gonna be queuing into something that doesn't have it, and this deck works just as well as it did not that long ago, really. Uh, we have a couple of copies of Vile Feast and Black Spear. I like the distribution. Uh, Glimpse Beyond with Spirit Leech as a full off each, giving us exceptional card draw. Don't play Preservarium in this deck. You have more than enough card draw with Leech and Glimpse Beyond. Like, that's one of the cool aspects of this deck. It really doesn't tend to run out of gas because of all the slay driven uh, or centered card draw that we have. And then I have a couple of copies of the Wings and the Wave. I have a one-off of Dune Keeper to give me that extra body that I can write of the Calling early on when I can set up a Ravenous Butcher. And Wings uh, and the Wave allows us to be flexible. We need something, we need a, a Slay proc, then we play last win. We need Praise and Fodder, then we play the first wave. And I really like this uh, one drop in this build. And of course, Fading Icon to help us uh, apply a little bit of pressure while also setting up some fodder as well. And that's essentially all there is to it. Uh, it nothing much has changed with Thresh Nasus. I think a lot of you are aware of this deck, but it's always been a really cool deck. I've always said it, even when it was at the top of the meta for I don't even know how many months this year, I still defended the deck, said it was really cool. And the only problem with it was that it was too popular, right? Now that it's not popular, it's edgy. It feels nice to play. And uh, I gotta give a shout outs, by the way, to my girlfriend sharing me because she was the one that gave me the idea of bringing back Thresh Nass as we were talking. You know, we, we talk a lot about card games and Legend of Runeterra specifically, <laughs> even during dinner. So uh, a lot of times she brings up uh, some cool ideas and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy I revisited this because it was a really, it was really fun to play. And I think you guys are gonna enjoy today's video as we, we face some 
wacky decks, some meta decks, but also some wacky decks, because uh, we are in Masters, and we're in the lower portion of Masters, and that's where people, you know, the term people use is meme, but they rather experiment. Is uh, I, I like that one better. There's a lot of experimentation going down there, and it makes for some really fun matchups. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking. I'm a soul day. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for regular legends. <laughs> Not used to saying regular. Regular legends of Frontera, because I, 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 my brain is like regular daily. You know, regular legends of Frontera content. I do post a new deck for the most part. Uh, I'm gonna change up my outro a little bit because I, I, I get a thrown at my face when I don't obliged to it so yeah I'll, I'll get back to you with that one but hopefully you guys enjoy the games have a soul day i'll see you tomorrow all right here we go so this is exactly the question that i wanted to answer to uh how do we fare against poppy ziggs game one let's find out I don't really like this hand, though, for the most part. Even the Ravenous Butcher. I mean, I like the Black Spear because it happens to hit both champions, so that's pretty relevant, I feel. Um, I also like the uh, the Ravenous Butcher. I don't have any targets for it, though. I'm going to mulligan everything except for the Black Spear, as weird as that may seem. Yikes. Okay. Bit of a gamble there by not mulliganing the Butcher, but I'd rather have uh, Sack Outlets. I'm gonna have to take this hit. See what we, see. Right, we so draw into what we need here. Let's go. Grab my hat. Come and start. Attack with this. I'm worried about a poppy on curve because he's, he's managed to spread out decently enough for her to get really good value. Sing with the darkness in your heart. Though, fortunately, that's not the case. Fly from the first lands. I have to enable this. Tragedy. I could go for the Black Spear, but I think I'd rather focus on using it on something like Poppy. Thresh feels pretty neat here. Hopefully he doesn't find the Cooling Strike. That would be really... This is growing. What wondrous discoveries await below? I want to play the Ravenous Butcher. Because it helps me level up Thresh and it enables my Black Spear to hit Poppy this this round. This will be a blast. <laughs> or Ziggs. I can play Nasus though. The cycle begins anew. We still have the Black Spear enabled in case my opponent were to want to set up a, a Noxian Fervor. I'm going to go down to 7 because if, if, if this turn plays out this way, then I just I knock, I knock him out. I easily knock him out, especially with the Rhino Negation backup. 
The cycle halts for no one. Really, really, really like my position here. Only something like a calling strike pickup would be the most like obnoxious thing. Okay. So that's what he picked up. Well. That's pretty easy. Never stops turning. <laughs> Beautiful! Let's get it. Let's get it, ladies and gentlemen. You're a burn deck. You 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 can't you can't throw away miracles, especially with that spell shield, boy. <laughs> Double trouble. <laughs> Not even bad. Dude, this this deck may actually be very underrated in this meta. That felt clean. Alright, another one. Poppy Tarek. Similar deck to the uh the Poppy Jar uh no sorry, the Tarek Jarvan deck that we showcased the uh, not too long ago. I mean Rat Negation could be good for Golden Aegis. I kinda wanna keep it just because of that. Yeah, it could be I don't know about Glimpse right now. I'm gonna drop Glimpse, I'm gonna keep everything else. Blighted Caretaker can be can be pretty decent. off with a vile feast. Maybe I could have let off with the Doom Keeper. Probably would have been better to try to bait him into something, because maybe he like I, I'd like to navigate around his his combat tricks here. I just I just figured that if I can get the combat trick out of him now, I can I can pick it off later with Blighted Caretaker. So I I'm, I guess I'm fine with this. I understand wanting me to like burn, but I'm not burning any mana. I'm just carrying over spell mana, and you're not slowing me down in any way. Like right now, I'm I'm in a pretty strong position. I feel because uh, being able to spread out threaten these two bodies. Like even if I were to see a poppy right now, like you wouldn't even have like great blocks into it. Like yeah, I can give him a bunch of gems, but yeah, I'm dealing a lot of damage here. Command. Naturally, he can combat trick. You know, he can preserve uh, his his tracker if he wants to. But I'm trying to get as much damage as I can. Repost. Expensive repost, if you ask me. We still deal a pretty decent amount. That's a fantastic draw. 
I'm happy I kept this right Wouldn't in age. quest without some danger. What the spare leech does is it gives me two power, four power blockers here. Wow, you sure about that? That's not a good hit. Your time cycle is done. Poppy could have been much more of a problem than she ended up being. What if I play you here? I attack with double three and I I line up a pretty. But at the same time, next turn I can just double up that way instead. Ooh. That changes things. I don't think I need to resort to this right now. Spreading out. Going for that there. It's just ultimately better, right? Let me think here. Okay, so... Can't conserve strike anymore, for example. You could try to golden Aegis. But it really Two mana left. I would assume he has something like a, he needs to have like a single combat. Or he's dead. All right, GG. <laughs> I was expecting some sort of surprise, but I guess I don't know why he didn't use his gem to try to block into this. He would have been able to buy some time, but I'll take it. Oh shit! It's Seraph and Reggaeton. Mano Shirima. Actually, interesting to see how this deck plays out. Uh, you can argue Black Spear is pretty important since it knocks out both champions. Pre-level, at least. We have Dune Keeper turn one, which is a solid attack. And then we have Fading Icon. The Wings of the Wave is also interesting. I'm gonna keep this hand. This allows me to push three damage. Don't I don't think this is the turn to play Blighted Caretaker. I think I want to try to work for a Thresh level up and carry over the spell mana this round for Black Spear, right? Like, I guarantee push 4 damage here. And, um, and then next turn... What am I, what am I doing next turn? Turn 4. <sighs> it feels kind of bad, though. I mean, I'm, how much damage am I pushing with this? Potentially attacking into one of the blockers, and then just having... Three, six, seven damage. Bring him down to ten. I can do better. Always forward. I can do better. I'm gonna open attack. I have options. I, I can black spear next round alongside with the wings of the wave. We love it when they run. Mm -hmm. All right. Special for you. If it bleeds, it's special enough. Wings in the wave, 
or Ravenous Butcher. Let me think here. I mean, Ravenous Butcher is always easy to play, right? And I, I have more mana to spare this time around, so it's it's always going to be Wings in the Wave. Last one. Slay the vulnerable unit, so we don't have... He doesn't have a way to... To buff up... Uh, your boy. Crazy about this thresh attack. Is that I'm gonna do this? I don't want my thresh taking damage because he, he can have right of the arcane and take him out this way. So I'm actually I'm trying. I'm trying to find the cleanest way to level up here. Like I could resort to a blighted caretaker. Again, still don't want to... Have my Thresh take damage. Playing it real safe here. I will run you over. Alright. Thresh is close. I have Red of Negation back up. Oof, I'd love to play Nasus here. I'm gonna play Nasus now. He has four mana. Like, even, even a, a, a reggaeton here can challenge me. Woo! Spirit fire. So fast. Yeah. Huh. All right, halts my attack. Much worse. We have the atrocity. <laughs> Top deck right there. Okay. Some bad blood there. We're going in with double attack considering we have the atrocity in the back. Right now we represent lethal, which means we force something out of our opponent. They've already played a quicksand earlier and the spirit fire. I mean, they have full mana, right? But...
<laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll let that happen. We're, we're good people. <laughs> I could have denied that, but got too much empathy. We grow wiser with each victory. Mm, I agree. All right, let's see how we fare against it's just the prank, bro. Perhaps a little bit early for atrocity. Yeah, considering many more is a thing, now now I'm starting to understand why people aren't playing <laughs> Thresh Nasus as much. I want to keep Thresh in my opener. Um, I don't think we need to keep the... I think we can mulligan with the Butcher as well. Just because I, I want to prioritize like having actual sack outlets, right? Considering we're playing a full set of Blighted Caretaker, we have a lot of units that kill things, right? But but finding the key pieces to be killed can be tricky. So if I don't see anything to butcher, I tend to mulligan it away. There is an argument for that being incorrect, but I I stand by it. Because I'm stubborn. The good thing is they won't be using their pranks until they have they have the curious shell folk on the board. The bad thing is I have nothing. I have nothing. I think we have something on that case. I wanna go for this vile feast. Okay, so they have they're gonna draw into a mini morph. That's good information to have. to black spear here maybe I need to black spear the curious shell folk how big of a problem is this yordle I think I'd rather just focus on on drawing a little bit unless he has a mystic shot Play Merciless Hunter now.
Is that a mobile? I kind of wish Mini Morph was fast speed right now. Again, a little bit. Oh, please. No. Ugh. Oh, well. <laughs> I was like, please don't hit my right negate ship, but yeah, what are you gonna do? Okay, we're, we're managing to uh, refuel a little bit. Sake. Don't give him a, a mini morph. Don't give him a mini morph. This too shall end. Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. A piece? <laughs> See, now, now I'm starting to be annoyed by that card. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. I didn't even, because it plays so fast, I didn't even get to see, like, you know, if it was created or not. Like, it, it was, like, really fast. If I'm forgotten, then... I'm gonna capitalize on, on Thresh to see like if he wants to start picking up my board. I have one Nasus left. Hopefully he doesn't play triple mini morph, and even if he does, hopefully he doesn't fight all of them. Alright. Nothing I really want to hit for now. I'm gonna keep my red negation open. Yeah, these cards are expensive, but they still they still work. It's gonna go up to seven. Makes me able to knock him out. But it's a bait, it's whatever. A lot of puff caps. All right. 
Brooding curiosities lie ahead. What is darkness to the unseen? I kind of want to start picking off his board a little bit. for going for the last one. level thresh at the expense of just losing a unit like I want to have a blocker here Vi stands for vicious. but at the same time I, I don't want to be like I don't want to go down to a Vi here it's just top deck that he has two more cards in hand Could be using it to challenge away my Bakai Reaper. I tried being polite. Eat this. Instead, does that? Which makes sense. So it is. I have to prevent damage because I'm I'm racking up these puff caps and I don't want to be that vulnerable here. I can't use this right of calling because I have one Nasus left, so I don't wanna I don't wanna overdraw. Sorry, I'll overdraw. I don't wanna waste this value. Like after this I can pick up another Thresh. Alright. Which can be another box. Got the atrocity? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's a crazy good top deck. Please don't have a third mini more, for the love of God. For the love of God, anything but a mini morph. Persistence is key. Yes. Yes. Never stops turning! Mm. Motherfucker! Oh, we got that spell shield now. And seeing that control just that just tells me there's no answer. What wondrous discoveries await? There's now. no answer. I tried to be in, just tried to make use of my emotes. <laughs> I wanna showcase Thresh and Nasus emotes, okay? No, I, I didn't mean to be him. I really did it. This was a good game, but it was frustrating, man. It was frustrating as hell. Because of the back-to-back -back mini just shutting down my Nasus completely without me being able to do anything about it, but... Hey! I guess mini Morse balanced. Because <laughs> we powered through anyways with our very last Nasus. No... No Thresh quote? I grabbed that. Perfection. Just gotta say. We went undefeated in today's session and we end up in rank 69. I just. I think I have to retire. I think I have just achieved the. Yeah. Like, I've climbed to the top. I'm at the summit. I, I don't know. This is my last YouTube video. <laughs>
Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have a soul day. And baby, if I get over it, I'll see you guys tomorrow.